Hi, I'm Gwen Jones. I'm a junior here at Smith studying anthropology with a minor in archaeology and a museum studies concentration. So since I've known since I was like four years old I wanted to be an archaeologist, what better place to go study abroad than Athens, Greece? Uh, so when I was in high school, I decided to start teaching myself modern Greek just as an independent study all on my own. And then uh, the follow at the end of that semester, I had to start planning what classes to take at Smith. So I saw Greek 100Y, continue learning my modern Greek. I signed up for it. I ordered my textbooks super early because they were on sale. I got my textbooks and I saw that they were for ancient Greek and I had signed up for ancient Greek, uh, which was stressful. But I was like, you know what? I already bought the textbooks. I'll do it. I'll take ancient Greek. So uh, I didn't tell the Greek professor this until the end of the year. And he was like, what, are you kidding me? Um, so there I was accidentally taking ancient Greek 100Y. And I became really close with a lot of the professors in the department, I'm like an honorary member of the classics department unofficially. And so I went on and I took Greek 212 and Greek 213 last year and started doing an independent study with the professor, Thalia Pandiri, who teaches the more advanced Greek courses to actually keep learning modern Greek like I originally intended. So through the five colleges and Thalia, I started studying on my own modern Greek while also taking ancient Greek, which was simultaneously an amazing experience to learn how this language has evolved, but also mixing them up all the time. Thalia and I would meet up before Greek 2.12 uh, every Tuesday and speak modern Greek together before class. We'd get in there, and next thing you know, we're mispronouncing our Plato all over the place, like saying modern words <laughs> instead of ancient words. Um, but because I knew the ancient Greek basis for the grammar and the structure of the words, it made it so much more fulfilling to learn modern Greek because then I had this foundation and I understood how the language had evolved over time and I started being fascinated with how in ancient Greek words what was a t sound is suddenly the same word but with s in it and it's like why why does it do this um, and so because of that and also because I was learning modern Greek I came at ancient Greek from a different direction than my friends who were there who known Latin because I also know no Latin so everyone else in Greek 100 knew Latin and had done like Latin competitions in high school. And then there's Gwen, um, who knows nothing about classics. And because of that, instead of coming at it from the direction of, oh, this is a dead language, it's not spoken, I was looking at it as a language. And just a completely different way of looking at it that made it so interesting alongside my friends who knew Latin. So last semester, I went to Athens and applied all this modern Greek I'd been learning and it was really interesting how, so all of my friends did not know any Greek. There were three students in the entire program. It's an American program, CYA. Uh, there were three students out of the about 120 in the program who came to Athens already knowing some Greek. Uh, there were myself, another student who had taken two years of ancient Greek, and then a student who grew up speaking Greek in the household. And so the entire school knew the three of us because Whenever they heard one of us speaking Greek, they'd be like, oh, you speak modern, you speak proper Greek. Uh, because all of the students had to take Greek 100, but we were in Greek 220. Um, and because of that, I was able to form stronger connections than I expected with a lot of the faculty at the program I was at. Because my second day there, I was trying to change my Greek cell phone from Greek to English, and I could understand how to get all the way to the last couple options, but I didn't know which ones to click. So I went up to this random guy who was uh, in the academic building, and I asked, Tisimeni, and then whatever it said. He was like, wait, you speak proper Greek? And we started speaking Greek and about why I learned it. He was the president of the entire program. <laughs> <laughs> and there he was helping me change my phone to English. And I'm like, ah, then got the phone of I don't know anything. Um, and so even throughout the city, I would then have these same experiences. I would go out to eat with my friends, and they would order uh, to the best of their ability in Greek at restaurants and everything, but the waiters would respond in English. We all always got English menus, and they'd come up to me, and I'd order, and I'd use, I'd say basically the same thing, but I would instead use like a potential verb, like 
that, Ithala, I would like instead of I want. And they'd be like, oh, you speak proper Greek. <laughs> and in a taverna in Crete, this old man who owned this taverna, um, he was pouring my drink first, he gave me my menu first, he's speaking to the other people in the restaurant, everyone in the restaurant, he's like, her, she speaks proper Greek, she's my favorite. <laughs> and I got like free dessert and everything. And I was just able to make these such fulfilling interactions and relationships between myself and locals because I had taken the time to learn Greek beforehand. Um, and it was also helpful for my friends and roommates who we'd walk in somewhere and oh no, the owner doesn't speak English and they'd stare at me like deer in headlights like, Gwen, how, what does this mean? Um, but it was, it was wonderful. Taxi drivers, every time you get into a taxi, they ask, um, oh, where are you from? You're from America, what do you think of the president? Um, and whenever my friends and I had to take the taxi back when class was in a museum, They'd be like, oh, I want to drive with Gwen, because if I was in the taxi speaking to the taxi driver in Greek, they would take the shorter route, and it would be cheaper, um, whereas the others, he would take the long route, and it would be six euros instead of three. But if they were with me, we went the short route, and we would get a discount. Um, and so all of these things together made for a wonderful experience in Athens. And I really look forward to someday hopefully returning there. As I said before, I study archaeology. But unfortunately, it's um, colonial archaeology in the United States, not Greece. Uh, but I do really hope to go back there, visit Idra again. Um, my mom came to visit me. It was our, for, for both of us, it was the first time leaving the country. And it was just such a wonderful experience. Thank you.